to three readings and today this reading is going to be for Sagittarius. Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you. This may or may not be a reading of course. Um, Y'all know that but I still have to say it because I don't know. <laughs> Um, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, if it does resonate, uh, you can check out the Vimeo reading. Even if it doesn't, you can check out the Vimeo reading because that reading is um, for the month of August. All the energies between you and your person. What is the outcome? What is the divine message? What are the love notes saying for you? So it's got a lot. I'm going to be linking it down below in the description box for you to check out. Okay. This one's for Sagittarius. If any part does resonate, give this video a like and subscribe. Okay. Let's see. Strength. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, but I feel like it's you. Mm -hmm. You could have that in your chart page of pentacles. Um, well, um, Sagittarius, what are you up to? The chariot, cancer, energy, and the judgment. What are you releasing? What are you up to? I feel like um, you're releasing something. Okay. A certain expectation, a certain something that you are releasing that was bringing you down and now you're releasing it and being free of it almost you know um with the page of pentacles i do feel like you were the one who was making the effort in a relationship with somebody right now you're very determined either you're way way too work focused or hobby focused or self-focused i don't know you're focused on something you're very determined you know where you're headed towards and i feel like this determination is also talking about you letting go of past burdens you letting go of things that no longer serve you so that judgment is actually you making your decision okay um with the strength card i also feel you hope you're holding back a lot sagittarius um and it's like I know what I want. I know what I deserve. I need to release certain burdens. So I'm working on it. So it's very like thoughtful and very like self-aware kind of an energy that I'm getting for you. Some of you are opening your, yourself up to new possibilities as well. A new business, a new, I don't know, whatever the case might be, something new. The person that you're dealing with, the Ace of Cups in the reverse, the Page of Cups and the Six of Swords. Okay, so in the past, I do see that there was somebody who was being very lovey-dovey towards you. Um, right now, I feel like there is silence here between the two of you. Let's see. Oh. Sagittarius, I just said that. Right? Four of Swords. Yes, there is silence between the two of you. Um... And there is somebody who's being a little bit selfish with their attention, with their affection. So they're not displaying it as much towards you. They are keeping it to themselves right now. Although in the past, they were being very affectionate. Um, right now, they're being very moody. They're being like, I need my time off kind of a thing. And they're drifting off to something else. You're also drifting off to something else. So you both are like, okay. While in the past, you both were like, very lovey-dovey or now you you both are like having your time apart or something could be a leo could be a sagittarius libra pisces okay cancer right i do see there's i do see some of you are literally not in commun in any communication with this person there's no communication nine of pentacles and the magician wow sagittarius what are you doing eight of pentacles the star at the bottom of the deck um scorpio energy ace of pentacles um i do feel like you're ending things to to have new beginnings in your life um sagittarius okay you're ending things to have a new beginning okay
Some of you are really starting something fresh with your money. Mm. Something that you're that you're making it happen. There could have been a Libra who was being non-communicative towards you. Who had even a third party maybe. Oh, then that Knight of Wands. So, I feel like... Um, Sagittarius, you are a little bit balanced with your energy, but I also feel like there is somebody in this equation who is doing things to get attention from another person. I don't know why I got that intuitively. So it could be you or your person. Somebody is trying to get attention from another person. <laughs> um, and I feel like you're manifesting new things in your life. Some of you are manifesting money, abundance, growth, being powerful and releasing what doesn't serve you okay with the ace of pentacles and the death it does look like an ending but with a new with a new opportunity with a new beginning and you're ready for it okay you're ready for it i see outcome is the queen of cups though look at that in the middle of the deck you get the sun and the hermit so leo um virgo capricorn aries gemini pisces libra cancer energy taurus aquarius scorpio and leo is here too okay so let's start Sagittarius right now I feel like this could be you actually trying to get attention from somebody because you are stuck in a pattern here like I feel like you're very self-aware but at the same time some of you are doing things to get somebody's attention like posting things on social media or I don't know like you're involved in a pattern that is a little bit toxic and some of you are aware of it okay but you're still doing it um and i feel like this is something that is destined to be like with this person honestly because it's hard to let go of and it, it has taught you a lot of lessons but i oh sagittarius there's a side of you that is like you're you're trying to act indifferent to it but you're not really indifferent to it there is something that you're trying to be like i don't care i don't know whatever but that's not the case what are you doing like you're very aware, but at the same time, you're doing something that is also causing a lot of self-sabotage. All right. The, and I feel like some of you are dealing with an individual who never makes a choice about you, who's always in their head, always confused. And that also confuses you at times with where is this relationship going? Okay. At the end you know in the outcome you're getting the queen of cups so there is still love there's still emotions here let's see why is that queen of cups in the outcome here for for sagittarius let's see ten of cups okay i see you reuniting with somebody i see you being actually very very happy in a relationship with somebody or uh, and for some of you if you're not uh into that or if you're single this could be you being in your energy and you know loving yourself and being happy in little things in life okay <clears throat> but for the most part this looks like happiness in a relationship happy marriage where there's a lot of good feminine energy and good 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 wives and kids and good stuff rainbows and unicorns and <laughs> good things i like it this could be you the queen of cups I'm really staring at the Queen of Cups. I feel like um, this could be you manifesting happiness into your life too. Some of you are wanting this. Some of you are wanting this kind of a relationship. And you are attracting that because it is in your outcome. So the outcome is very hopeful, very positive, very good. Now let's see. What is the advice for you? Okay. What is the advice for Sagittarius? 
Five of Pentacles, where are you up to? Okay, so some of you are keeping your options open. I feel like some of you are doing a lot of work here, Sagittarius. To not get into this energy where you can feel left out. Or some of you are feeling left out and you need to get out of that energy. So it could be vice versa, whatever. Um, to me, this looks like... You're trying to avoid getting into that Five of Pentacles energy. Like, I don't want to feel left out, so I'm going to be on top of my game. That's what your energy is like. So there's a certain emotion that you're avoiding. Like I said before, you're doing something and you're aware of it and still causing a lot of self-sabotage, okay? Even though for the most part, I do see you doing good. I do see you being very good with your energy, but there's still something toxic here that you could be holding on to and it's not serving you. It's time to let it go. What's with this person Sagittarius is dealing with? High Priestess, major, major Pisces energy, or that could be in your chart, uh, that you were very much involved and now you're retracting your love and, you know, doing other things, busy with other things. Somebody is like... I do see you reconciling or making, like somebody's going to be making things right here, but for the most part, I see somebody releasing a situation and the other person is going to be very happy. <laughs> but your outcome is very nice. Your outcome is that there's happiness, there's a relationship, there's good stuff. There's emotional fulfillment. The person is being very silent. I feel like that's like their second nature, being silent and then, you know, walking away and coming back. You deserve love. You are lovable. That's where your energy is like, right? You, I deserve more love than this. I want more. <laughs> Making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So yeah, that is... Um, somebody's going to be making the effort here. Let your friends help you. Some of you are talking to your friends, asking other people, hey, this is my situation. Can you tell me what to do? Like, you know, talking on the phone or something. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, there's somebody that you're insanely attracted to. Passion and chemistry. What is this? I feel like, yeah, there is a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry here between the two of you, but you are focusing on yourself and you want this person to show you more effort. So there is going to be more effort. Or some of you want to take those action, those actions towards this person. You can if you want to. I feel like it will be reciprocated well. But for the most part, you're doing your own thing. But there's a lot of attraction and chemistry here between the two of you. Let's see. Knight of Cups. Love. Love is there at the end of the day. There's love. There is abundance. There's happiness. Okay. What happens in between does matter. But at the end of the day, you're getting to a good place, right? Anyway, so Sagittarius, those were the messages that popped out for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out your Vimeo reading down below in the description box. This is 3-3 Readings. Take care and bye-bye.